Not only can you enter a bodybuilding contest, you should for quite a few reasons. Here are five. Hey everybody, me again, Wayne. First, thank you for clicking on this video. Out of all of them you have to choose from, really appreciate it. I hope you like it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel the urge. Leave a comment, please. That really helps my algorithm. And then come back next week. Okay, so last week we talked about five reasons you can enter a bodybuilding contest or classic physique or bikini or figure or whatever. I'm using bodybuilding in an umbrella term. Now this week, five reasons you should enter a bodybuilding contest. And more or less obviously, more I think, I'm talking about natural amateur bodybuilding, not professional. If you're a professional bodybuilder, you're almost certainly not watching this video anyway. And if you're an amateur bodybuilder and you want to become professional, you'll probably need a lot more time in your schedule to be in the gym than you have right now. Hey, maybe not. But anyway, we're talking about amateur. Oh, and of course the disclaimer, right? Don't think about anything I say as advice. This is a pep talk. Before you start any physical improvement program, you really should check it out with your physician. I expect that nearly everybody who's done any kind of bodybuilding contest had to, at some point, talk themselves into it. And at some point thought, oh, I'm just not ready. Um, but you know, if you wait until you are ready, you will never get ready, okay? And even if you're not ready right now, if you commit to doing it, you will get ready and you should do it. Here are the five reasons. Number one, if you enter a bodybuilding contest, it gives you incentive to keep working out. It gives you incentive to get your ass to the gym on that day and the next day and the next day, knowing that you're going to be getting up in front of a room full of people. And you know, some days in my life, incentive to get to the gym is pretty hard to come by. Fuck my life. But if I've paid the money and I've made the plans to enter a contest, that incentive, well, I have a lot more of it. So there's reason one. Entering a bodybuilding contest, you should because it gives you the incentive and the motivation to keep going to the gym. Reason two, bodybuilding and eating right are good for you. And again, if you are entered if you have invested, if you have planned on that bodybuilding contest, you will get to the gym more regularly. You will eat right. You'll be taking in lots and lots of protein, sure. But you'll also be taking in lots of vegetables, lots of good grains, right? Good fiber, you know. And among all those things, you got antioxidants and stuff that is good for your joints and your bones and so forth. And you'll just be healthier if you do it the right way. Reason three, you should enter a bodybuilding contest. You are the example. If you have kids or grandkids or students or parents or friends, acquaintances, anything. In short, if you're a person, you are the example. You want to set a good example, an example of being healthy, not just in your mind, but in your body, your body, your mind, and your emotions. If you enter a bodybuilding contest and you get yourself into as good a shape as you can and you enter that contest, well, you're setting an example of staying physically healthy. That's good. But if you enter that contest and you're satisfied with how you do, and you should be, no matter how you place, first, second, third, fifth, last, if you're satisfied with it because just showing up is a victory, quoting my friend Guitar Max, Max Carlisle there, then you are setting the example of maturity. And think about it. Isn't there somebody in your life you want to set a good example for? Whether it's your kids or your grandkids or your parents or whoever. I want to set a good example for my grandchild. I want to set a good example for my kids. I want to set a good example for my students because I'm a teacher and I want to set a good example for people just in general who think that that academics, I teach at a university, are just eggheads with no interest in physical fitness. And I want to set an example for people who think the bodybuilders are just, you know, football, big mindless hunks of meat who inject themselves with drugs all the time. Because neither of those stereotypes is true, at least not universally. So I want to be the example, and I want you to want to be the example to show people that they're not. 
Reason four, the journey is fun. Okay. Uh, now, it's not necessarily fun every time you go to the gym, but you go there, you work out, you get those endorphins flowing, and that translates into dopamine, hopefully, and you feel better. Okay, I am almost always in a better mood when I leave the gym than when I went in. And as the weeks and months go by and you get in better and better shape, then, you know, that gratification, that feeling of, hey, great, just get stronger. Quoting my friend John Taylor, who was the 1981 teenage Mr. America. You know, you only get so many chances in life to do this kind of thing, so enjoy that journey. And the journey does have to be the primary thing that you are doing it for and that you enjoy. The contest itself, that's just a nice little dessert. And the contest can be fun. In the contest I have done so far, and again, I'm planning to do more, it was a great time. The other competitors were really encouraging. The promoters were supportive. Uh, the tanning lady, Tara from Tan Tara Mobile Tanning in Kansas City. There's a free plug right there. She was great. Everybody was great. I had a great time. My wife who went with me had a great time. My granddaughter who went with me had a great time, except when she had to watch the the, <laughs> the professional bikini competitors who were on before the amateurs. Because to a seven-year-old, that's just a wall of butts on stage, and she was so bored during that part. But other than that... We all had a great time. So that is reason number four. You should enter a bodybuilding competition because the journey and the contest are fun, or they can be if you want them to be. And reason five, if you don't do it, you won't know that you can do it, even though, trust me, you can. So you might as well have that fun, undertake that journey, cross that item off your bucket list, or whatever it is. And let me emphasize again, it does not matter how you place. It doesn't matter! Just showing up is a victory. Enjoy the journey and other cliches as well. Oh, and if you do uh, perform really well, let's say you get first or second or whatever, hey, that's great, you know. But on the other hand, I'm paraphrasing my friend Doug Brignoli, you know, if you do really well, what that means is that you have done better than the other random people who turned up at that random event on that random day, you know? So if you do great in the contest, fantastic, savor it, okay? But uh, whether you do well or you don't do very well, it's all the same, man. You're doing it for you and you're doing it to set a good example for the other people in your life and that is what matters. That is about what I've got. Oh, um... True Bodybuilding Program at Smart Training 365. It has a wealth of information. I mean, there are hours and hours and hours and hours of stuff. Videos and stuff to read and stuff to watch, which I guess would be videos. And it's Doug Brignoli and uh, other people as well who really know the industry and really know the sport. And they will take you from training, through posing, through tanning, through getting on stage and all that stuff. If you follow the link in this video description, use that coupon code Wayne, that's me, Wayne, you get $100 off the program. Not 10, not 20, not 50, 100 bucks off. So if you can swing it, it's a pretty good deal. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you liked this, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you feel the urge. Leave a comment. That really helps my algorithms. And by all means, come back next week. We're going to do more stuff. All right, thanks again. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>